to assess the nature of the damage. Hello there, neighbor. I'm Gian Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Okay. Great. If you're seeing this, it means our Pathfinders have done their job and made new friends in the galaxy. Welcome to the Nexus. But I want to put your mind at ease. Seeing our arcs arrive in your neighborhood probably raised some concerns. I'm happy to address them. What are you planning to do in this galaxy? Great question. I'd be worried about that too. I can assure you, we have no hostile intentions whatsoever. We're pilgrims who simply want to live in peace. We're eager to learn about new cultures, new ideas, and share our own with you. But we understand trust needs to be earned, no matter what galaxy you're in. And the initiative looks forward to doing just that. Why did you leave the Milky Way? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Many of us have a deep curiosity that needs to know what else is out there. Our own Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a universe full of mysteries. And speaking for myself, the thought of exploring those mysteries in Andromeda was a call to adventure I could not resist. Thank you for taking the time to listen. On behalf of my fellow Milky Way travelers, we couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for all of us. Hello there, neighbor. I'm Gian Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might... Okay. But I want to put your mind at ease. Seeing our art... What? Our... And speaking for myself, the thought of exp... On be... This is Ark Hyperion, one of several ships that made the long voyage from the Milky Way galaxy to Andromeda. The thousands of colonists aboard have come in peace, united by their dream of a better life in your beautiful galaxy. You need not fear their arrival. We are all citizens of the universe, eager to be your friend. Hello there. I'm a human being. If you'd like to know more about my people, just ask. Okay. Good to hear. Humanity is a diverse species. You may notice different skin colors or religious beliefs among our people. Yet we don't let those differences come between us. We'd rather celebrate our diversity rather than fight over it. What's human history like? Humanity is a young people compared to many of the other Milky Way races. We didn't discover spaceflight until much later. But what we lack in age, we make up for with enthusiasm and a pioneer spirit. We'd like to think we can teach our fellow travelers a few new tricks. Where do you come from? Humans come from a planet called Earth. It's a beautiful blue world, with everything from oceans to jungles, snowy mountain peaks to deserts. It's also an oasis of biological diversity. Scientists calculate Earth contains nearly 9 million unique animal and plant species. I'm glad you stopped by. Next time you see a human, ask about ice cream. It's one of the many great things we bring to Andromeda. I'm Gian Garson. Greetings, inhabitant of Andromeda. I'm a Solarian. I'd be pleased to tell you more about my species. Please have a look around. Okay. Solarians are considered among the brightest scientific minds of the Milky Way. We're known for our quick thinking, technological savvy, and intellectual powers of deduction. Where do you come from? Solarians originate from a world known as Rakesh. It's a tropical planet covered with oceans and rainforests. As an amphibious species, we're at home in Surkesh's lush jungles, but with our technological advancements, we can adapt to nearly any environment. We look forward to studying the wonders of Andromeda and the rich diversity our galaxy has to offer. 
What's Solarian history like? Cooperating with the Asari, we were the second species in the Milky Way to help form a galactic government, the Citadel Council. From time to time, we also guided other species, such as the Krogan, to better channel their natural gifts towards worthy pursuits. It's our belief that the careful application of science and intellect is the key to improving the quality of life for all. It's been my pleasure. Rest assured, the people of Andromeda have nothing to fear from Solarians. This is an image of the Citadel, considered the seat of government for many civilized races in the Milky Way galaxy. Here, the Council deliberates on matters of state. It is a champion of the common citizen, eager to help those in need. As with all political institutions in the Milky Way, conflict is rare. Peace and cooperation are the rule of the day. Welcome, native of Andromeda. My people are known as Asari. It would be my pleasure to tell you about our kind. Okay. Very well. Asari are the oldest civilized race in the Milky Way galaxy. Among my people, diplomacy and cooperation are prized over war or conflict. Where do you come from? Asari come from a planet known as Thessia, which many consider the crown jewel of the Milky Way. It's a thriving world blessed with prosperity and peace, and the center of the largest economy in the galaxy. With the high concentration of Element Zero on Thessia, Asari evolved powerful biotic abilities. It is considered a hallmark of our species. What's Asari history like? Thousands of years ago, we played an important role in founding the Citadel Council, the seat of government for our home galaxy. In the ensuing centuries, Asari placed great value on cooperation and collaboration. Many species look to us for leadership and guidance. Due to our lifespan, sometimes reaching 1,000 years of age, we are patient in our decisions and prefer long-term solutions over short-term gains. Farewell. We look forward to forging new bonds with our friends in Andromeda. The wisdom you share is our reward. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Initiative. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the Cultural Center. It's an honor to meet you, citizen of Andromeda. My people are the Turians. It will be a privilege to tell you about them. Okay. Turians are a highly disciplined race who value service to others. No one places personal needs ahead of the greater whole. Public works serve as a focal point of our society. We believe it's our duty to better our species. Where do you come from? Turians live on a planet known as Pala. The atmosphere's weak magnetic field shaped our evolution into the life form you see today. Our signature carapace, the hard exterior shell you see on Turians, is actually metal. It protects us from the intense rays of Palavan's sun. What's Turian history like? The history of my people is proof that peace eventually wins out. Disagreements among species turned into lasting friendships. When Turians first met humans, there was a misunderstanding between us that could have had disastrous consequences. But with patience and restraint, humans and Turians eventually joined together in a mutually beneficial partnership. We look forward to doing the same in Andromeda. The pleasure of meeting you has been mine, one that I hope other Turians will soon enjoy. Hi there. Thanks for stopping by. I'm a Krogan. Are you interested in hearing more about my people? Okay. Of course you are. We may look scary, but don't let that worry you. It comes from living on a harsh world. We're a species that knows how to thrive, even under the worst conditions. Where do you come from? An ugly rock called Tachanka. No sense lying. It's not a planet most people want to visit. We had predators, nasty weather, and not much else. But it gave us our identity, forced us to adapt and evolve. 
Everything about us is built for survival. How many species do you know that have a pair of spare lungs just in case? Or four testicles? What's Krogan history like? Powerful, you might say. Growing up in our neighborhood, only the toughest survived. That usually amounts to a lot of fighting. You'll hear stories, so no sense covering it up. We once had a great society, but I'm ashamed to say, we squandered it. It's why a lot of Krogan are here in Andromeda now. They're the smart ones, the ones looking for peace and a fresh start. Thanks for chatting. We're all looking forward to meeting our new neighbors. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our friendly peace ambassadors. They're happy to answer any questions you may have, and eager to learn more about your own culture. That's ridiculous. What structure does that? Repairs continue on various honest. parts of the Nexus. He was being an ass. Authorities have no word on As sleepers wake from stasis, the initiative urgently requires blood, tissue, and DNA donations. See a medic if you think you may be eligible. This is HNS. Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at Workspace Not Allocated. Please select a topic. You are Scott Ryder, salary code 19B, active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For Colonial Affairs or Outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For Station Maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For Militia Operations,